You're listening to The Monetize Mom, the podcast that teaches moms of faith how to monetize their expertise online to create influence, impact, income, and more importantly, financial independence. I'm your host, Flo Alexander. Let's chat. Hey mama, if you are tuned into this episode, you're probably looking to grow your coaching business. Well, you are in luck. I just released a new training on how to launch a high ticket program that clients will pay thousands for, even if you don't have your program created. Now you can access it now at themonetizedmom.com forward slash training. That's themonetizedmom.com forward slash training. Again, that's themonetizedmom.com forward slash training. Now let's get on with the show. Well, hello, everyone. I hope that you guys are doing amazing today. I'm just going to forewarn y'all, if I sound a little Barry (laughs) Whitish, because your girl has been conquering what has been trying to take away my voice. How about that? That's a word right there. Take that and run. I have been like having post-nasal drip, sinuses. Maybe this is TMI. But yeah, been dealing with that. So if I sound a little raspy, that's why. If I have to, you know, pause and take a cough break, that is why. So anyway, today's episode is entitled Make God the Goal. And the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because we are at the probably at the release of this podcast episode, we will be going into the fourth quarter, if not there. And so I know a lot of people are going to be making their goals and their plans for Q4. They will be starting to plan their 2024. And I just want to share something that will redirect your thoughts and how you approach your goal setting specifically for your business and quite frankly in your life. And this kind of stemmed from a conversation I was having with one of my really good friends in business who has a wildly successful business. I was talking and I'm a messenger. I was like, hey, if you plan on doing like a 2024 planning session, you know, let me know. I want to be a part of it. Or at least like, let's have a a quick, you know, session where maybe we bounce ideas off of each other. And I really didn't have any expectation outside of, I just want to, you know, talk to somebody else about, you know, some strategies perhaps, or, you know, just, just bouncing ideas off of someone else, someone that I trust. So anyway, she responded back like, Hey, I really don't have much of a planning session for next year as much as I know what the vision is. And I'm just going to keep working towards it. Like it hasn't changed over the last couple of years. And I was like, you know what? Even though I asked this person to do a like planning session or whatever, I already had it made up in my mind that I'm gonna do whatever God tells me to do. And that's just really been the rhythm and the flow that I've been in lately. Like whatever God tells me I'm gonna to do, I'm gonna do it. And that's just that. Like so with that said, we nixed the whole idea of a plan of a planning session. And I was like, you know what, actually I I text her back, you know, I was like, you know what, actually, I'm glad you said that because I'm really in a season where I just want to do what God tells me to do. Um, Just wanted to kind of chit chat or whatever. And so she was like, hey, this is what I got planned. I was like, hey, this is what I got planned. And that was our planning session. And so I just want you guys to know that you really don't have to put much into this. I know oftentimes we are led by this idea of, you know, write your goals down. What is it that you want to make financially in your business? What is that income, that revenue that you want to hit? And we're just so pushed to have these these goals, right, that a lot of times we miss God and what God is telling us to do. I share on a previous episode where where God really convicted me on making money my idol in business. Like many of you were probably planning on doing for Q4 and for next year is like right now, this is the revenue I want to hit. And these are the specific things and these are the numbers and doing the math. And I had to take a step back and be like, well, actually, no, my goal should not be the number. My goal should be whatever God tells me to do. And I think we lose sight of that because of the the world that we live in, where it's very much money driven. It's very much self driven. That's one of the revelations that God gave me recently. It's like a lot of y'all are not trying to build businesses to serve other people. You're building businesses to serve yourself and get glorification for yourself. You want to be popular on social media. You want all the followers when in reality, if you are doing a business that is that's called by God to serve people, everybody don't have to know about it. Like you don't have to be great. You know, great as far as having all the attention, having all the followers and all these people who idolize you and and all those things. Like that doesn't have to be the case. There are plenty of businesses 
that have no social media presence that are making a tremendous impact in the lives of people. And it has nothing to do with the person who created it, the person that God is using, being out there and being magnified. It has everything to do with them just simply serving in the capacity and with the skills that God has given them. So that's one thing that God really shined a light on for me is that, you know, our desires can't be for self. Our desires cannot be for ourselves. And self being that, hey, we want the attention and also self being that, We want this thing to be successful for our own benefit and not for the benefit of other people as well. So God shined a light on that and really brought to my attention where people have been trying to build themselves, you know, this massive following for themselves. Recently, I was listening to someone's live stream and they were saying that, you know, sometimes the enemy will use people, build them up only for them to have a very very big public downfall. And so I think we have to be careful of that, seeking the attention for self as opposed to seeking to serve and knowing that when we focus on the right thing, that everything else will be added. If we need a a huge following for what God has called us to do, he'll provide that. If we don't, we just don't need it, right? And so I think that's the realization that we need to settle in is that We don't need to make certain things the goal. We need to make God the goal. And so as I think about planning for Q4 and planning for 2024, for me, it's less about, okay, what number do I want to hit? It's, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to use my gifts and my talents to be able to serve the people that I am specifically called to? Who I'm specifically called to has nothing to do with the number of people that are on my Instagram account. So I just want to bring that to y'all's attention. Like, let's not make these numbers the goal. Let's make God the goal. And that's not to say that we can't use marketing. Obviously, I'm a marketer, right? But we have to do it in alignment with what God has called us to do. So I will say for you, 2024, Q4, make God the goal. Sit still and ask God, okay, what is it the vision that you have for me? Like, Give me a vision. Give me a download of what it is that you really want me to do. What is the big impact? What is the overall goal so that you can focus on that vision and not focus on the small stuff? You know, the small stuff is how am I going to get clients? The small stuff is, you know, how am I going to make X amount of dollars this month? No, that's the small stuff. The the thing that you need to be focusing on is, God, how do I fulfill this vision that you've given, given for me? And I will say this. You know, in talking to that same friend, we were, we were talking about, you know, other business stuff. And she made the comment. She was like, you know, focus on the vision and, you know, everything else that comes with it will be in- inevitable. And I can say that this is true for my financial education platform. When I came into this world, I had no idea about online marketing. I had no idea about monetizing. I had no idea about any of this stuff. I was just, matter of fact, when I first got online, I was just sharing my life's journey. I was sharing my testimony. And by God's grace, like I reached people all over the world when I started blogging over a decade ago. It was like 2011, 2012. And so I took that same approach when it came to personal finances. Like I didn't know I could, you know, monetize and do all this stuff until much later. But I knew my assignment from God was to help get people out of financial bondage and poverty because that's not the life that he intended for his people to live. And so that was my mission. That's still my mission and my vision today. I'm pretty sure I shared this story on this podcast. But the reason that I started really being open about personal finances and being intentional about producing content around personal finance and not just regular regular life stuff that I had been blogging about was because I had a really crazy experience when I was traveling with my husband we were in the UK we were visiting I believe it was Windsor Palace it was one of those palaces and I remember going in and seeing all these treasures all these jewels all this like just ridiculous stuff y'all they had spoons made out of gold that they only use once for a certain event it's crazy and I remember getting back on the bus we were going to Stonehenge and I just started weeping on the bus my husband was asleep beside me and I was just crying my eyes out because God was like this is an earthly kingdom. Do you not know how much more I have in my kingdom? As children of God, he was like, my people are living below what they should be. And so that became my charge then and there to go teach people how to manage their money in a biblical way. 
Because if you do it the way God tells you to do it, you're going to be blessed. Like you are going to be blessed. It doesn't make sense to the world for you to take 10% of your income and tithe it. It doesn't make sense to the world for you to give. It doesn't make sense to the world for you to pay off debt and not have a bunch of credit card debt on a bunch of people's stuff. It doesn't make sense to the world. But God was telling me like, you show people what I've done in your life by following these biblical principles. And that's been my vision and the mission that I've been working towards ever since. Like, and so I've seen how when you work toward a vision, everything else comes after that. Like, I didn't have a plan, a PR plan to be featured in BuzzFeed or to get quoted in Yahoo Finance like multiple times in a year or to be in the LA Times or to be in MSN Money, like all these different places. My book was named one of the top 10 books for Black women to read by 2190. Had no idea. I didn't have a PR plan for this stuff. It was just me being faithful to the vision that God gave me. And that's what we need to be focused on, being faithful to the vision that God gave us. Yes, be smart. Like you're you're running a business, so you you have to be profitable in that way. Like there are strategies that you can use to monetize it, but the goal shouldn't be how much money can I make out of this? Just in thinking about this today, God really gave me that some of y'all are still in your career because he's allowing you to keep this job so that the focus in your business is not money. He's allowing you to keep your job so that you're getting that income so that when you're doing the work and investing in your business so that you can reach those people, the focus is not the money in your business. The focus is on actually serving people. So some of y'all are like, well, I'm ready to get off my job. Why isn't my business popping off? It's because you're worried about the money in your business as opposed to serving people in your business and allowing the job that you have to be able to be the funnel by which God provides for you financially. So as you are thinking about what's next for my business, I want you to really sit still and figure out and hear from God, what is the vision? Who am I called to serve? How am I supposed to use my gifts and talents to help them? And then God will give you a strategy to be able to reach those people and help those people. And the financial stuff will come in on the back end of that. With Mama and Money, every week I'm up here posting videos on YouTube. V- videos on YouTube are free to everybody else. Now I get ad revenue, but I'm posting all this free content. I'm writing blog posts, right? At one point I was paying people to paying people to do this stuff, like paying people to write blog posts and all that stuff. But I'm getting this information out to people that's going to change their lives, that's going to give them a biblical view of money, that's going to allow them to break out of poverty, to allow them to break out of the cycle of paycheck to paycheck living. All these things that God did for me, I'm showing them how to do it and providing that information. I did not have a strategy to be able to charge companies thousands of dollars to speak to their employees about personal finance. I have a strategy for that. I didn't have a strategy for our plan, our goal, for per se, to have companies reach out to me and say, hey, can you be a part of this campaign where we're teaching kids about money um, for this app, right? Like I don't, and, and then pay me thousands to do it. I didn't have, y'all, I did not have a strategy. I did not have a goal. That wasn't on my goals. You know, charge X company thousands of dollars, charge it. Like none of this has ever been on my goal. The vision has always been my goal. And so in this season, God is like, okay, I need you to take that same approach for your coaching. I remember God kept me up all night with the vision that he had for the monetized mom. I lost track of that vision. Not necessarily I lost the vision, but the focus wasn't that vision anymore. The focus was on, okay, I need to hit this financial goal for this to make sense. And recently God like stripped me of the pursuit of that that finances. Y'all, as a matter of fact, even though I teach people how to run ads, God had me turn my ass off. He was like, turn it off, turn off the faucet. As a matter of fact, I'm changing your business model altogether because the vision, you need to focus on the vision. And so if you're listening to this, then the vision for the monetized mom is to, in conjunction with mama and money, which is teaching you financial stewardship, the monetized mom is teaching entrepreneurship so that you can gain financial freedom and build wealth and in gaining that financial freedom, be able to have the freedom to then, you know, step away from your career and devote that time to your family. I believe that women should also have the freedom to not be bound to a career. The vision that God gave me was to help women get to that point 
through entrepreneurship and financial stewardship, which is why I have the mom and money aspect and then the monetized mom for women who want to take all of that knowledge that they learn in the corporate space and turn that into a tangible business that can help other people and allow them to have the freedom that they want. I was talking to one of my clients the other day and she's still in corporate. She had gone on vacation and she was working on the business. She was like, I had so much clarity. I had so much freedom. You know, I could be creative. And she knew that this is where God wanted her to be. And so we just have to walk out that journey. And this is why I do what I do. So that's the vision here. You guys need to have a vision and you need to focus on that vision and focus on vocalizing that vision because people are going to jump on board with a vision. So anyway, make God the goal. Make honoring God, make listening to God, make hearing from God, make doing what God told you to do the goal within your business and ultimately in your life. All right. So special announcement. Like I said, God has really shifted the business to monetize mom. So previously I had been running a coaching program and the coaching program did well. Like let's not pretend like it did. So I previously had a coaching program where I was teaching coaches, you know, how to package and sell market. And God has shifted that for me. It's not a traditional coaching program anymore. It is now a marketing service, a done with you marketing service where you will get the level of service that I was already giving my clients, but this is packaged more formalized and that I am helping you take that expertise and knowledge, turn it into an offer where you're going to serve people and the focus is going to be the vision, right? But you have something tangible that you can offer people when that time comes. And then I am going to literally do the marketing for you i'm going to do the the copy i'm going to do the ads if if the strategy that we determine is ads right i am going to be helping you with your creative we're even helping you with your social media content i'm going to tell you what you should probably be saying on social media and obviously all this stuff is going to be holy spirit led but i'm going to tell you hey this is what you should be doing on social media and we're even working on creating social media content for our clients as well. So it's, it's a new thing, y'all, and I'm super excited about it. So anyway, if any of this resonated with you, if you know you have a vision that God has pushed you to and you're ready to execute on the vision and you're not necessarily worried about how much money am I going to make, hitting a specific income goal, if you're not worried about that but you have a bigger vision that God has called you to and you just need help, from a development standpoint and a marketing standpoint because that's not your expertise that's not your zone of genius is mine then then yeah then the monetized mom is now for you the monetized mom is now for you and if you want to find out more about that you can go to the and learn more about who I serve the people that guy has given me the vision to help and how I'm able to help you and if it resonates with you then just apply for the program apply for the program if this sounds like, and, and let me not even say program, it's not a program. Apply for the services. <laughs> Apply for the services because we're only taking a limited number of people because I only have so much capacity and the support team only has so much capacity, right? So apply, see if it's a fit. We'll have a conversation and we can go from there. So anyway, guys, my voice at this point is just painful to talk. So I'm going to end this episode here, but I just want to leave you with make God the goal. As always, I hope that you found this episode helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a review. And with that, I'll talk to you in the next episode.